All right, guys, so I wanted to make a quick video explaining like the hard to believe results. So I have to have Jeff with me because if I just told you, you wouldn't believe him, right? So the one day you just popped in out of the blue. That's it. Yeah. Just popped, how old are you? 64. 64 years young. You just popped in out of the blue because you were looking online and we popped well, up. Fourth of July, which is Independence Day, I decided I needed to do something. I looked around for places and I ran across Upraxia and seemed pretty interesting, so I stopped in just to see what was going yeah, on. Yeah, man, it's great, because I just happened to be here, and you just happened to pop in. And so I just want to go over these results, right? And, and what's crazy about this is, um, you, you wouldn't know this, but like years ago, I used to catch a lot of flack for, because uh, the, the eating guidelines I give go against a lot of what the conventional wisdom is, um, but they're wrong. And uh, so I want to go over some numbers that Jeff um, has gone just because like I said, I don't think people believe me if I just said it, right? <laughs> so first off, I'm going to talk about fat loss. So in so far, you've lost six of these bad boys. 31 pounds of fat melted off your body, which is pretty cool, right? You're down 24 pounds overall, but you put on some muscles too. Yep. Right? You're really, but here's the crazy thing, right? So his triglycerides, Jeff, you're, you're in one year, yes, yeah, about exactly one year, went from 247 to 50. <laughs> That's freaking insane, right? Yep. Just by following, and here's the, so that triglycerides is fat in your blood, and we don't worry about fat, we just don't eat the bad fats. The, we don't, our eating plan doesn't have the, the, the terrible processed grain fats that are, you know, commonly recommended. Did you find our eating plan enjoyable? Well, in the beginning, you know, a little difficult changing, but you know, I. The things I liked is what I ate. Yeah. I mean, there were some things that I really didn't like, so I pretty much, you know, looked at the meal plan each week and decided what I was going to eat, and that's what I There's did. There's enough on there for you. Oh, well, it. it I mean, you. One thing is I never ate sweet potatoes before. Right. And uh, I seen some recipe on the internet of making sweet potato wedges, baking them in the oven, and I mean, I eat them every week now. Yeah, I literally just got a perfect grocery store. I got a box full of those, and they're, yeah. they're great. Yeah. But so triglycerides down uh, um, 200, right? And then your A1C at one point, you said it was at 10, 10 yeah. which is insane. A year ago, it was at 7.8, and your last check down to 5.6, you're in the normal range. Yep. So from like diabetic, pre-diabetic to normal, right? Yeah. Right. By changing diet, by changing diet to like healthy, enjoyable food, and then your fasting glucose. I assume this is your fasting glucose, yeah, not just yeah, the fasting. So a year ago, right? A year ago, like it's, it's like I have to double check because it's <laughs> freaking. You're at 199, right? We'll call it 200, and the last one 101. Yeah. That's huge, massive changes by. Just changing how you eat. and a bunch of these other numbers are insane too. So the whole purpose of this was just to show how important food is. That's why I'm such a big foodie because I see stuff like this all the time. And um, it wasn't the because when you got these, your, your regular doctor wasn't there. No, this was from a, my. I had an appointment and my doctor had to cancel, but I wanted to get this done, so I went to the family medicine and basically seen an intern. And what did the intern think? He was he couldn't believe it. Yeah. I mean he says I I should be the poster boy for eating healthy. Right. <laughs> it's that powerful. So it's like so my big thing is is one, like if your numbers aren't good, do this and you'll see massive improvements. But don't eat bad to begin with and they never go up. Like there's just not enough emphasis put on good, clean eating. Beautiful. I mean I you know, I I in the beginning it was kinda a little bit hard, but I mean you know what I knew I could do it, and and like I said, I decided to eat the food that I actually enjoyed eating. Right. Which, other than what I used to eat before, I mean, eating healthy. I mean, I ate a lot of eggs, a lot of vegetables, lean meats. So um, right there, you ate a lot of eggs, right? Yeah. You remember for years how eggs were so evil? So you ate a lot of eggs. I ate two eggs a day. And then and your triglycerides <laughs> dropped by two hundred points. Yep. Right. And and it's like, oh, what about the cholesterol, right? Your cholesterol is at 108, <laughs> but I, and then there's more to that because you are on a stand, which I don't know why anymore, being that it's at 108, right. which is so crazy low. And they had, so two things with that. You said like the change was hard a little bit. In the beginning. But any, any improvement in life, you have to go through some hard, right? Like it's like anything good, but then 
you just replace, right? So you replaced healthy foods you like with, you know, you replace the unhealthy foods you like with healthy foods you like. Right. And you don't force yourself to eat anything you don't like, right? No, I, I basically eliminated sugar. That yeah. was one thing. I mean, like I said, I was eating eggs, you know, vegetables. I mean, fruit. I mean, I eat a ban banana every morning. I eat apples. I eat oranges. I eat uh, pears. See, that's so interesting, too, when, people, when you think carbohydrate, when people think carbohydrate, you think pastas, breads, muffins, waffles, pancakes, cookies, right? But I the, eliminate all that. Get that crap yeah. out, and you switch those with bananas, apples, oranges, which are also mainly carbs. Natural it's sugars. Night and day. It's yeah. night and day. You get a bunch of good fiber, and you get numbers that are so good, they're hard to believe, so I have to have you sitting here so people don't think I'm a liar. No. Right? And then two... Your body fat percentage, because I happen to have it right in front of me, went from 38.5% down to 27.3%. That's really, really good. At 64 years old, which a lot of people think, oh, I'm 60, nonsense. Like, you're not, I got a rule, by the way. You can't claim old to your 85. <laughs> it's my rule. Well, I, I, think it's I fair. feel a lot younger than I did the third week in mm -hmm. July. Because you are younger. Yep. All right, there's... There's uh, two types of age, chronological age, which doesn't matter, that's your birthday. Then there's like physiological age, how old you look and feel. That's all I care about, right? So you're, uh, you're, you're literally, your physiolog physiological age got younger. I mean, there's more numbers in here, like with the kidney numbers and whatever, that are just insane and um, hard to believe, but it's true. So if you're struggling with number, like any of this, you gotta start with diet. You just absolutely have to, it is so important. And more important than this, you just have to feel so much better. Well, it, it snowballs. I mean, I, after the first week, I weighed myself and I lost like five pounds in the first week. And then, you know, it, it made me feel good. And I, I got more into it, more into it. I mean, when I started this, I would be winded after walking about 100 feet. Now, it's like a walk in the park. Yes. I mean, it's, I have so much more energy. I feel so much better. I sleep better. I mean, everything all around is nothing but a positive. I mean, this this place changed my life. And one thing, because you have AS, right? Of ankylosing spondylitis. Right, so your your spine is basically fused. Fused, pretty much. Okay, so like, can you rotate your head at all or is no, it all? No, I can't. So I, you, I gotta move my whole body. Right, so your head, and then, and with that um, limitation, right. you're still able to modify everything right. to get, get results. And it's so important. Um, because a lot of people are afraid to start and you know, you hear things like, you practice this crazy art. Everything's modifiable, right? So it's like, no matter, what level you're at, all you need to focus on is being better than you were a few days prior. And yep. just make I mean, things. I mean, most of the kettlebell exercises I can do, I mean, the issues I got is getting down on the ground right. and getting back up. So, I mean, I basically use a, a box yep. to do push ups, you know, to do a mountain Which a lot climbers. Of people do. Yeah, and, and instead of doing burpees, you know, I'd step up and down off of it. Right, can, everything can be modified to every ability level. And um, it's just, uh, I got a question. So it was July what when you first came in? I think around the third week, July 18th or something. What exactly was it that was like, you got to do something? Like I said, you know, I. Well, was it like the last time I had seen my doctor in May, she wanted to put me on insulin. Oh, I see. And my mother and father were both on insulin, and I had I watched them shoot up every morning, and I told her, I'm not, I don't want to go on insulin. She said, well, then you have to do something. You know, and, you know, I really didn't take it diabetes seriously. Right. But when she started talking about insulin, I knew I had to do something, and like I said, it was like the 4th of July weekend. I decided if I don't do it now, I'm never going to do it. And, and, that and I searched the web and seen Lepraxia, and I you know, read over the website and decided I'm going to go check this place right. out. Right, and so that was the big trigger, the idea yep. of getting on insulin and the shots and the insulin pumps or all the things that come with that. And, I mean, the one thing that sold me on it, was it was an individual training. I mean, working out as a group, you know, it sort of pushes you a little bit. You, you ain't by yourself. 
you're just doing the exercises, everybody's doing it together. I mean, the people here, they've been friendly, you know, outgoing. I mean, I, I, if anyone needs to do something, this is a place to do it. You know, anything really important, so you said both your parents were diabetic? Yep. Right, and that's a lot of times like, oh, it, it runs in the family. Well, you just disproved that. Right. Right, it, it wasn't, it, it, a lot of times it's, it's not genetic, we learn have bad habits from our family members. I mean, my dad was on dialysis the last three years of his life, and you know, I, I didn't want to have to do that, so right. I had to do something. No, you're doing the right thing. No, I can't imagine. I mean, let's just be honest, you'd have to be a fool to stop and go oh, out no. to, you know what I mean? No, so, keep stop. up with the dietary habits, and keep up eating good, and hopefully, someone watching this is like, you know what, I'm going to do that too because I just, it's just so worth it. Yeah, I mean, it, like I said, it's cha it's changed my life. I mean, my my whole attitude on life has changed, and I feel so much better than I did, you know, in July. I mean, it's I got my you know I got my life back. It seems like that's awesome, dude. And I just uh, appreciate you coming in, so I don't have to be accused of lying. No, nope. it's all real. It works. <laughs> awesome, it works. If, if you want to do it, you can do it. Five pounds right there. Yep. Six of those bad boys. Yeah, that, that was a lot of belly. I mean, just dragging this around is what, five pounds. I mean, I'm dragging, you know, 25. Yeah, it's exhausting. 30. That's what I, I think a really, really good, I think it's really motivating. Let's say you have 40 pounds to lose. Put 40 pounds in a backpack and carry it around for a few hours and then take it off and see how good you feel. Yep. Like that's how good, I mean, that's what you're carrying around 24 seven. And imagine how good you can feel you know, when you're not carrying around all that extra dead weight that makes your joints hurt and fatigue and inflammation and pain and, and everything else. But I just want to appreciate you sitting down with me. Well, thank you for... Uh, so I'm not a liar. For changing my life. Yeah, it's dumb, man. I, dude, you make me... It's what makes me feel good, right? Like, uh, I, 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 it makes me happy is seeing you happy and other people get good results. And seeing numbers like this, it's just... It's, it's awesome. It's so awesome so thank you and thank uh, what you. do you think maybe like one more of these and you're good well I'm, i know people have asked me how much are you gonna lose i said i'm gonna lose them until i don't lose no more it's a good attitude just keep eating I good and yeah, see what I happens have, i don't have a set figure i mean like i said i'm you know your body's gonna know when you're putting in that you don't have mm -hmm. to lose anymore all right so. i don't know why you got so much nicer hair than me <laughs> what the hell all right, I'm adding an addendum to this video because he just mentioned something which I never knew about. So what were you just saying? Uh, I had psoriasis pretty bad where I had to like put creams on seven days a week, you know, one cream for five days and then like another cream for two days. And ever since I've started eating healthy, my psoriasis has pretty much cleared up. How, I mean, how many years have you had psoriasis? Uh, probably a good five. Five years. Five years. And then a few I mean, months. And it wasn't getting any better. You know, they've always, they want to put me on them biologic shots, but I didn't want to go on them because that shuts down your immune system and I didn't want to do that. So I've been pretty much doing the creams. But when I started eating healthy, I noticed that uh, I wasn't getting the plaques anymore. It's so important. Okay, a couple things that one of the number one causes of skin conditions eczema psoriasis acne those sort of things are because of your diet so certain foods can trigger your immune system to attack itself right, right. so it's an autoimmune or a, an immune issue so they give you biologics to suppress to yeah. that immune response when the true solution is to find the cause of what's triggering your immune response which very often is a combination of grains and dairy which di damage your digestive tract and things can leak into your system. Yeah, well, which I've pretty much eliminated. Exactly. I haven't had milk. I mean, I've been drinking almond milk, but mm -hmm. that's not milk. No, yeah, it's it's uh, no it's cheese, it. no ice cream. I mean, pretty much eliminated all dairy products. And that's the, the one of the biggest causes of skin conditions. That, did you ever think? Well. Digestive issues? Do you well, I was starting to have. I was getting diarrhea a lot. And, yeah. I mean, that's pretty much cleared up as well. So the, the cascade, I see it so often, is gas, bloating, diarrhea, constipation, IBS, Crohn's, colitis. All these digestive issues are all related to food. And a lot of that correlates, relates to, is the cause of autoimmune conditions, which you see in skin conditions, right? And, uh, man, I didn't even know that. But I've yeah. seen it... Uh, 
I mean, so well, that's one of the reason I wear sweatpants it's instead of, of shorts. Because oh, and now it's clearing up though. Well, it's clearing up. Like, yeah, show off the I'm sexy legs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's great. Like I, I didn't even know that. So that's yeah. another huge benefit. Um, like anyone, and it's so it's so frustrating for me. But anyone who has any digestive issues and any skin conditions whatsoever, the first thing you should be looking at is diet for sure, before any even remote idea of a, some sort of medication whatsoever, you gotta start with diet, because it's, it's so often a cause. But what a cool side effect that is. You come in oh, yeah. for uh, weight loss and blood sugar, and um, your psoriasis goes away. Yeah. That's super awesome. Well, thanks for bringing that up. I can't right, believe yeah. uh, we haven't talked about that before.